Oh my god, boys, look at this. <laughs> Anything look familiar about this? Top nine forward potential for Comtois. <laughs> I can't get lucky in this GM mode. I just can't. It's it's. It, I can't buy luck. <laughs> we, if you guys remember correctly, I drafted Comtois first overall in the draft like two years ago, I think, as an elite potential. Last year, he dropped to top six, which is I was fine with, but now he's down to a top nine. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, we, we, we just can't do anything right in this GM mode right now. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, you know what, boys? I think we just got to go up to the draft in this video. I really do. There's nothing I can, I can do in terms of trades. There's just not, we don't have enough assets that I want to give up, uh, in order to get something back. So <laughs> let's just simulate up to the end of the season. Uh, this, this season's garbage already. Look at our record, 29-30-5. That says it all. I mean, it really does. We're, we're, I'm speechless, honestly. Like, the difference between this and Vancouver is that, I mean, obviously we're not making the playoffs here as well, but this team, we don't even, I mean, like, we don't even have good prospects at least with Vancouver we had some decent prospects and a good team uh on paper anyway I mean oh man this is not good <laughs> this is not good at all oh man I mean look at this all right so morale Matt Dumba let's see it feels awesome to be playing extra ice time out there most nights can you say anything about the team or something? I mean, that, that that's kind of what matters right now. Whatever. Matt Dumba focused on himself. Potential, uh... Not, not potential captain, I guess. Not captain material. Just thinking about himself. <laughs> nah, I kid, I kid. Um, but yeah, look at that record. It's just not... Yeah, we're we're not making. There's no way we're making it. Yeah, we're almost up to forty losses. <laughs> oh man. Yep, this is isn't good at all. I mean, got on a winning winning streak the last five games, six games actually, but still, I wouldn't count on being in the playoffs now. I really wouldn't. The uh. The Central Division would have had to have a horrible end. Yeah, we're not in playoffs. Yeah, we would have had to have a horrible... Or, well, a better after uh, trade deadline run. And everyone else would have had to have a bad one. Which they didn't. So, going back to player morale. Uh, yeah, we're not in playoffs. So, Mitchell. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> not feeling very positive about my performance. Yeah, everyone goes through rocky patches, just like the whole team. <laughs> it's just not, just not any luck in this GM mode whatsoever. Oh man, uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I guess <laughs> we'll simulate up to the draft because this is a very short video so far. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. no. We're gonna check the player stats. See who did what. Although I wouldn't imagine too much. Matt Dumba is the leading point scorer. 57 points on defense. Oh my god. Let, let's check out forwards here. Come on. I pressed the left stick. There you go. Kamenev, leading point scorer. 54. And then Nita Ryder, Granlund. Oh my god. Just not a good year for us, boys. And then Watson's down to 182 as well. I... I can't buy luck. I, I, I really can't. I mean, it's just <laughs> so bad. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, you know what? We may as well check out the team standings as well. I mean, it's just... <laughs> yeah, we may as well have tanked this year. I mean, well, it was sort of a close race for the wild card and even for third place. But, I mean, there was no way we we're catching Winnipeg and Dallas. That's for sure, but if we just won, let's say, two more games, we would have been in the playoffs for sure. 
<laughs> I would have rather tanked though this year because it, it just seems like this whole simulation's against me right now. It really does. And then we're in 19th out of 30, so we're not going to get a top 5 pick either. I mean, we could with the lottery, but not a very high chance of it. So, <laughs> honestly, can't buy luck. Yeah, whatever. Keep going. Maybe not even the Iowa. Yeah, the Iowa Wild, I don't even think, made the playoffs. Yeah, the Wi Iowa Wild didn't even make the playoffs, so. <laughs> uh, it's not a good year for the Wild organization. It's just, oh man, a, a scouting assignment. Let's check the O. There you go. Yeah, let's just get up to the draft. <laughs> Done with this year already. Uh, can we have? Can we just please have some decent draft luck? Now, I, I mean, I don't think we will personally. Uh, another scouting assignment here, I think. Or uh, no, is the uh, it's gonna show the winners probably of the Stanley Cup and the Calder Cup. Yep, Montreal and Providence. All right. So there you go, Montreal. <laughs> There's a cup. Um, another one. Another one, anyway. Um, cause, I mean, you already have, like, what, 25? Or maybe even more at this point. I don't know. Haven't really been paying attention to the past uh, Stanley Cup winners here, at least in this game. Uh, so, yeah. We're already up at the drafts. It's been two videos. Oh, man. All right. Let's see who retired. Well, Yuri Hitler then. Uh, I guess Yuri Hoodler was the only one who retired, or only one notable, anyway. Uh, yeah, we need... <laughs> I don't know what to say, boys. We need everything now. With uh, Comtois dropping to a top nine, I mean... <laughs> it's just so bad. You know what? There's enough time in this video. Let's just do the draft. I don't even care. We'll, we'll make it an entire video. Alright, alright. I need a top pick here. Because, um... Yeah, nothing's working out for us. Um, especially not, you know, like, top 10 picks. They seem to be terrible. You know what? I'm trading Comtois. He's a top 9. I just uh, I don't trust that. He's been dropping every single year. He's going to be a bottom 6 by next year. If we don't trade him now. Uh, Florida. Yeah, Florida has number 1. Let's see if we can even get it. I don't know. I doubt it. Definitely not with Comtois himself. Yeah, we're going to have to give up something else. Uh, we'll probably have to give up our first. Which, to be honest, I don't mind doing. Because, as you guys, uh, guys have seen, uh, we've had some pretty awful luck <laughs> with our uh, with our late round draft drafting. Especially in the first. Just nothing but top nines. You know what? I don't want to give up that second, though. Because that could be... I don't know. It could be someone good, potentially. Don't want to give up Holt. Don't want to give up him. We could give give up Scrivens. We got enough bottom six forwards, honestly. I'm just looking for someone with trade value now. You know what? It might have to be Granlund. We might have to give up Granlund. Yeah, he's hit his potential. Or yeah, prime. Yeah. And in order to get it, something good, you gotta give good value back although we are giving up quite a bit here do you think we could get away with keeping our first oh hold on we have to add more uh, skaters to the equation here on their side um yeah i really hope we could uh keep our first here yeah we'll get Piri. he's on a one-year deal we won't even have to sign him and then what about you Anyone who's on a one-year deal, I'll take. Because, honestly, I don't want to... Yeah, alright. Uh, could we get away with not giving them our first? We might. Honestly. Because Comtois and Granlin take up a decent amount of trade value. Let's see. Will that go through? Yes, it will. Nice. Alright, so we didn't have to give up our first to get that first. So, I like that trade there. I, li I like it. Alright, so... We now have the first overall pick. 
All right. Now. <laughs> the moment of truth. Was that a good trade? Or no? Because, uh... Oh, man. Okay. I, I, I think we got to take Edler. I mean, even though we need a center, you know what? Anything's good at this point. Like, we need, we need wingers. We need centers. We need a goaltender. We need everything. I mean, we're so... We're solid on defense, but yeah, we need everything else. You know what? I'm going Edler. I'm going. Oh, please be an elite. Please be an elite. Please be an elite. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Man, that, that was so nerve wracking. Like the draft shouldn't be nerve wracking anymore for me, but it, it, it is honestly in this game because you just never know. <laughs> is there any more uh, top tens left? No. All right. We'll just take, yeah, this playmaker right here. Chucko top nine. Okay, top six. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good. I need. I needed that. Oh man, he'll he'll replace replace uh, Grandland hopefully. Oh man. All right, round two. Let's see. Hopefully, we get a uh, a hidden gem here. We kind of need it. All right. Let's see. Second round. Yeah. Let's <laughs> let's take this guy. See how we yes starter okay that was a good pick that was a very good pick all right starting to get some better luck here in the draft at least in this draft because we got an elite a top six and a starter so that that's good that's exactly what we were looking for um so I guess now let's try to go for a left winger yeah uh Clutterbuck we need a sniper. Let's see, uh, ah, bottom six. <laughs> our, uh, our luck ran out after uh, round two, but you know what? That's still some decent trade value, I guess. A bottom six sniper. Be able to get a depth player back for that. Um, yeah, let's get let's get Nichushkin. <laughs> Another uh, Valerian Nichushkin, apparently. AHL top six. Ah. Yeah, not using him. <laughs> not using him at all. I mean, unless he grows, but yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see. Can we get uh, can we get another hidden gem here in the uh, fifth round, I think it is? All right, Albert. Let's see. Bomb six enforcer. Okay, that's not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. He could he could uh, turn out to be something. You never know with those enforcers. Um, I mean, he might even depending on his overall, he might even be ready for this year, this upcoming year. How much time in this video? Thirteen minutes. All right, not bad, not bad. Yeah, I'm just taking the top player at this point. Top player on the list. Cause uh, yeah, it's getting into the late rounds. We're in round seven already. But I have to say, this was a good draft. This was a very good draft. But only because we made that trade, honestly. If we hadn't made that trade, I don't know. It might have might have been, uh, yeah, it might have been a disappointment. But we still, I mean, we still got a six, uh, top six player or center, and we got an elite uh, power forward right wing, and we got a, a a starting goaltender of the future. So you know what? I'm happy. HL fourth line forward sniper. No way we're using him. <laughs> All right. Draft's over. Yeah. Edler, Chucko, and Tamarinus. They're going to be uh, huge parts of our team going forward. For sure. All right. Player meetings. Morale. Who's got something? Truba and Piri. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. I, I'm sorry, Truba. I'm sorry. We had to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not okay, holding on to you, Brandon Peary. Whatever. I don't care about <laughs> uh, I don't care about your morale. You know what? Let's just go to resign. Yeah, we'll just do the whole <laughs> off season in this video. Uh why not? I mean, I know it's only been two videos since the last off season, but there's really been nothing we can do in the actual season. Uh okay, so McDermott, hold on, let's see. Where's um Okay, so there's Chucko. He's 67 overall. Edler's 70. Yes, we'll, we will definitely sign Edler. There you go. 
<laughs> finally some luck in the draft. Now, hopefully, he doesn't pull a Comtois on us. If he, I swear, if he pulls a Comtois, that's gonna be, that's gonna suck. Oh, man. Uh, defenseman. We didn't draft any defensemen, did we? No, we didn't. I don't think we did. Goaltenders. Uh, yeah, there we go. 60 overall, though. Yeah, I'll leave him on sign for now. He's not uh, too good to be in the AHL. But you know what? Yeah, let's sign goalies first, I guess. Um, Montoya. You know what? I'll release Montoya. <laughs> Shut up, Marchenko. <laughs> you can get to decide. All right, there you go. There's our two backup goalies uh, re-signed. Now, Delzato and Foline. Yep, want to re-sign these guys. They're uh, solid defensively. I think, anyway. <laughs> you never know with this Minnesota Wild team. Yeah, we'll give them the same contract. Three years for... Uh, or uh, two years for three mil. There you go. Not going to re-sign you. Uh... Yeah, I'll resign Olafson. I'll resign Jelena. Uh, let's see. Anyone else? I don't think any other defensemen need to be signed. Yep. All right. Let's go to forwards. Oh man, we have how much? How much cap space we have? We have forty-four million in cap space. Wow. All right. Yeah, we gotta pay some people here. <laughs> um, Silverberg. All right, yeah, let's really jack his price up because, oh man, that's going to be a hard contract to trade though. If we uh, get him up more than like four years, we're going to, we're going to have to do this though. There's, there's no way we're going to be um, even close to the minimum salary cap. Then we're going to have to offer him five mil. Kenny Ryan will release you. Uh, yeah, Reeves. I don't think I... I definitely don't need Peary. Uh, don't need Reeves. You know what? I think we should just play the youngsters this year instead of playing depth players, honestly, because it, it, it just seems like a waste otherwise. So, yeah, Olsen, release you. Like, I might even give McDermott a chance or, or Chucko. Like one of those guys, like it's just, it seems pointless to be playing someone who's already hit his potential on the bottom six, who's not really doing anything and not helping the team. And yeah, it's just, oh man. All right. So Zucker though, I will resign. Yeah. I'm going to give him some money too. Because uh, again, the salary cap, I'll give him like four mil. It's just not working out for us, boys. <laughs> Up until that draft. Uh, so, you know what? I will sign Chucko. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Albert's a 48 overall. Let's check his physical category. You know what? It's up there. It's up there. You know what? Just for the laughs, let's, let, let's, sign, let's sign Albert. I mean, honestly, it can't get any worse than it is right now in Minnesota. <laughs> so, may as well. Sign McDermott as well. Uh, Malmstrom. We'll sign you. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? Uh, okay. Not going to sign Alfredson. Not going to sign Koski. I'll sign Holt. I'll sign Watson. I'm going to give Watson. I'm going to give Watson some money as well. Give him four years at, I guess, like 3.5. We really got to extend these contracts um, in terms of money here because, uh, yep, salary. And then Salamaki, he's, uh, yeah, I'll give him two years. Uh, let's see, McCarran, sign you. Riot, sign you. Uh, Birchie. I'll qualify, I guess. Oh, great. Now all of our, all of our uh, other signings have been... Uh, oh, no. They're all the way down there. Okay. I think I already signed uh, Holt, though, didn't I? 
I don't know. Um, I don't need you. I don't need you. Yeah, this, this video is going to be about, I'd say, 25 minutes again. Whatever. Uh, yeah, we could use you, Eric's neck. Uh, Goulet, I'll sign as well. I guess I'll offer Holt again. Lang, sure. Then Jenny's, sure. Alright, I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah, that should be it. Alright, I just don't want to chance the uh, glitch happening again. I swear if it happens again. That'll be so bad. Because <laughs> this is a, this is one year where we really do need some free agents. If they're out there, like any young guys especially. Yeah, all these guys. All right, June 26, good, good. Let's let's just double check the contracts. Let's see how much cap space we have. We still have 26 mil. Yeah, I hope there's uh, some free agents we could get because uh, gonna be struggling on the cap otherwise. I mean, look at that. Like Silverberg is our <laughs> top earning player now. My God. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anyone else we need to sign. Just ch double check goalies here. Yeah, there's no one else we need to sign. May as well go into uh, free agency now. I'll check free agency and then uh, I guess you guys can uh, leave your comments on uh, what we should do. Although if there's anyone obvious that I know that I'm going to want, uh, I'll sign them right now. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, there you go. The uh, qualified RFA. Just signed with us. So let's see. Let's see who who we got in free agency. I think I saw Nyquist's name. Yeah, Nyquist. But he's 29. I, <laughs> no one's, uh, yeah, no one's young gun here. I mean, we could sort by potential, see if there's anyone. Top nine forward? Nah. I don't need more top nine forwards. You kidding me? Oh, man. But still... We're, we're, we're very much under the cap, though. You know what? I may as well just sign Nyquist and just just the sakes of trading him later on in the season. Because we're, we're going to need to. I mean... Ooh, and then Rick Nash. I mean, he's 35. He's dropping and all. Ooh, Matt Duchesne. He's an 85 now? Yes. But he is a first liner. He's listed as a first liner, so he... You get some good uh, trade value out of these guys, although I'm not expecting either of them to sign, honestly. <laughs> oh, man, it's so bad. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, we're going to have to... Yeah, just for the sour cap sake, I think we're going to have to get one of these guys up here. Yeah, you know what? We'll just offer... Uh, Nyquist like a tremendous contract but it'll be for like one or two years so that it, it's at least somewhat easier to trade yeah we'll give him two years just so we have uh, a chance to possibly trade him at the draft yeah we'll give him like 10.5 because honestly we need to give him that <laughs> yeah you bet you better sign with that contract man that's you're not gonna get that anywhere else all right, advanced day. Come on. I want Nyquist. <laughs> Come on, boys. Uh, there you go. Oh, I got a trophy as well. All right. Uh, yeah, he's definitely going to be taking on a re leadership role, at least while the time he's here. Um, he's going to be developing all our young guns. Yeah. Uh, I hope I joined the list of successful free agent signings. You won't regret signing me yet. Yeah, there you go. No effect on morale figures. Okay, so... That's taken care of. The salary cap situation, anyway. Um, 
I feel like there's nothing else we can really do. I mean, we could sign more free agents, but that, I, I just I want to play the young guns this year. What do you guys think? So uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, yeah, I'll just I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. I don't well, actually, I don't know if I'm gonna simulate um, to the next season before that. Yeah, you know what? I'll simulate to the next season before the next video because honestly, I don't feel like we should be signing any more free agents than we already did, um, especially with that lucrative contract we gave Nyquist. Uh, the only, like, the real reason for doing that, honestly, was for the salary cap, but uh, let me know when, uh, what we should do because Nyquist is going to bring some good trade value as well. So, you know what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.